Assalamu alaikum dear friends welcome back to survey designing and soul 3d video series by Murad Farooq dear friends today video tutorial topic we will be learn shared properties between sub assemblies in soul 3d this video will also explain create assembly create sub assembly parts edit sub assembly properties and edit depth width properties output parameters how to change assembly labels and codes how to share their common parameters so dear friends if multiple parts in a civil 3d assembly require the same dimension or slope it may possible to share their common properties by sharing parameters design change become more efficient because one assembly part cannot to be used drive properties of several others so you can see on the display we will be draw this same assembly and we will do changing everything and i will explain also the sub assembly parts in this video tutorials if you are new viewer please subscribe our channel if you like this video press the like button and share with your friends thank you very much let's know we will go to continue our topic we will start first of all we will go to assembly just go to this option and select create assembly from this step click on the assembly okay and put the name here assembly done suppose we need to enter assembly one and from here we need to change this option view edit and sharing so we need to press ok and click the origin where you want to draw your assembly parts just click on this and go to this option tool palettes so the tab will be open this one tool will be open and you can see everything is open here so now we need to go to the basic to draw basic lane just click on basic lane and click here and just we need to click to draw the second lane okay just now we need to go to the curve yes curve and select the first one this one option and click here and press okay so our parts is created we need to reduce our scale to make it clear very much yeah bring it sun to 50. now we need to do some changing just double click and go to the properties and change the name here just suppose this one is lane one and change the color from here okay we need to change the some properties for the second lane we need to enter the name lane two and also we need to change the color for the text yes this one so the next we need to change the color for curve gutter we need to enter cg and we need to change the color as usual <coughs> close this one so now the topic is start now for suppose if we change the slope for this lane just only will be change this but if we have like that i want to give you an example suppose i want to change monthly 5.00 you can see the change is a level is slope is changed just for lane one so we need to change this is on one clip for both lane so for this purpose we need to click on this and go to this assembly properties and select this option assembly properties click and go to construction to this option i want to make it zoom to clear it's very quick now you can see your all parts is already draw lane one lane two which one will change the names is already here so we need to go to the lane two and go to the slope option here just make it mark here click and from here we need to select lane one slope we need to it make with compare with the lane one slope and apply now you will be see here this will be changed automatically apply you can see the slope is changed okay so if you are doing change a change of slope in this lane one automatically it will be changed in the lane two you can see for example we need to monthly 10 you can see the level is changed for both but initially the change is coming in one okay so the next if we uh, this one is not changing we need to make it a like to the lane 2 
just go to again to the construction and go to CG and go to the slope option you can see just select the slope option and from here select len one slope and when you press on the apply it will be changed automatically you can see on the display it's change okay apply and okay same if you want to change the width so the same process is for the width just if you want to change here the width suppose we need to change the width 8 meter just it will be changed in lane 1 if you need to change in both just you need to do the same process again just click here and go to the assembly properties yes and go to construction and go to lane 2 and that time go to the width option and select here lane 1 width yes this one option and apply and you can see the width is changed automatically no if you if you do change in lane 1 the lane 2 will be changed automatically we are going to change the slope slope is 6% and the width is 5 meter okay you can see this is changing automatically yes now we are going to change the depth if you are changing the depth of lane 1 this is coming the change only in lane 1 the lane 2 is not changing so we will do the same process for this one just go to the assembly properties construction and go to lane 2 and select the depth and come here and select here depth 1 ok and press ok now if you do change in the depth the lane 2 depth will be changed automatically you can see this is just for example suppose we need to enter 0 0.3 it will be changed same as usual in both lanes and also for this we need to mirror this command i want to Yes, select these three options and select the mirror and press enter here now you can see the same component is draw already here on the left side okay dear friends if this video is helpful for you please must do comments and share we will see in the next tutorial Allah